These are the platonic solids, named after the ancient Greek philosopher Plato. The platonic solids are a very special type of polyhedron. Polyhedron is a solid constructed by joining polygons along their edges to enclose a region of space. Polygons then become the faces of the polyhedron. When all of the edges of a polygon have the same length, and all of the angles are the same, the polygon is regular. The platonic solids are constructed from such regular polygons. The platonic solids are characterized by three properties. All faces are regular polygons. All faces are exactly the same, or congruent. And all corners are exactly the same. That is, the same number of faces meet at each vertex in exactly the same way. The cube is an example of a platonic solid. All of its faces are congruent squares and three faces meet at each vertex. This polyhedron is not a platonic solid. Although all of its faces are regular triangles, and the faces are all congruent, three faces meet at this vertex, while four meet at this one. This solid has two different types of vertices. This figure is not a platonic solid. All of the faces are the same, and the same number of faces meet at each vertex. But the faces are not regular polygons, since not all their sides have equal length. The faces of this polyhedron are all regular polygons, and four faces meet at each vertex. But they're two different types of faces, squares and triangles. So this is not a platonic solid. Over 2,000 years ago, a mathematician named Euclid wrote a book called The Elements. This book is the basis for most of today's high school geometry courses. The grand finale of The Elements is a section about the platonic solids, in which Euclid shows there are exactly five. His explanation goes something like this. The simplest regular polygon is the equilateral triangle. How can equilateral triangles fit together to form corner pieces of platonic solids? Three triangles can form a corner, and one more triangle closes the shape forming a platonic solid with triangular faces. This solid is called a regular tetrahedron. Four triangles meeting at a vertex form a corner that looks like a pyramid. Two of these corners can join to form a platonic solid with eight triangular faces. Notice that all the corners are identical. This solid is called a regular octahedron. Five triangles meeting at a vertex form a shallow dome. Joining two of these domes will not form a platonic solid because not all of the corners are the same. Joining the two domes to a center band of 10 congruent triangles forms a platonic solid with 20 faces. It is called the regular icosahedron. Six equilateral triangles surrounding a vertex lie flat. So no more regular solids can be made with triangular faces because no more triangles will fit around a common vertex.
The next simplest regular polygon is the square. Three congruent squares can join to form a right angle corner, like the corner of a room. Two of these corners can be joined to make a cube. Four squares meeting at a vertex lie flat. So the cube is the only platonic solid with square faces. The regular pentagon is the next simplest polygon. Three of these meeting at a vertex form a corner. Now four of these corners together form a platonic solid with 12 faces. It is called the regular dodecahedron. Four or more regular pentagons will not fit around a common vertex. Three regular hexagons coming together at a vertex lie flat. So no more solids can be made with just hexagonal faces. Regular polygons with more than six sides won't fit around a vertex at all. So, there are exactly five platonic solids tetrahedron, the cube, the octahedron, the dodecahedron, and the icosahedron. The perfection of the platonic solids led Plato to write that they must represent the elements thought at that time to make up the world. Tetrahedron was fire, the octahedron air, the icosahedron water, and the cube earth. The fifth solid, the dodecahedron, represented the universe itself.